Hey guys, this is AI Gaming1776, and I'm here to talk about the R9 390X playing Just Cause 3 in 1440p. Now, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see that we are getting 30 frames per second. I'm doing live commentary so I can talk and walk and show you how everything's doing. So, 30 frames per second. We want that to be 60 frames per second, and we know it can be 60. Oh, right on cue. We know it can be 60 frames per second as it literally just went up there now, but it won't stay there as it just fluctuated. It will go all over the place, often settling at 30 frames per second. Now, why is it doing that? Well, the short answer is this game hates V-Sync, all right? Now, the R9-390X can actually play this game quite beautifully in 1440p and get 70 to 80 frames per second with V-Sync off. The problem is when you turn the V-Sync on, the game likes to go down to 30 frames per second. Now I'm kind of surprised, there we go, we're at 30 now. I've tried to make this video a handful of times and I was gonna say I was kind of surprised that it wasn't more at 30. See, it's 30, 42, 30. Um, it's actually trying to fight the 30 frames per second. Almost proud of it, but it's gonna be no cigar. Not even close, not close and no cigar. We're not gonna really get a reliable 60 frames per second until we do a couple things. All right, first of all, we already did the first thing uh, before I started the video. The first thing was run the game as an administrator. So thing one that you wanna do to get 60 frames per second is run the game as an administrator. But as you can see, we're still not getting 60 frames per second. So let's do thing two, all right? Thing two is we need to hit the window key and the L key. Now that's going to lock the computer. Now this works with Windows 7, which is what I'm using now. And I've heard that it works with Windows 8. I don't know about Windows 10. Now I usually wait 10 to 15 seconds and then I go right back in here. And then the game wants to act right for me and stay in the 50s to the 60s. Now, as you can see, there is a lot more pop to the image. Things look more vivid now. Things look more crisp. The movement is fairly decent. It's not, it says 60 frames per second. It's not as smooth as I've seen other games be at 60 frames per second, but this is absolutely 100% acceptable. Now for what it's worth, if you have a FreeSync monitor, that's AMD's answer to Nvidia's G-Sync. So if you have a FreeSync monitor, then you can actually skip that whole Windows key and L thing because you'll get about 50 to 70 frames per second anyway. For whatever reason, it is slightly lower with FreeSync on for the FPS than it is um, to have no syncing whatsoever. The game just does not seem to like being told to sync. It does not seem to like doing that. So before I show you the settings, because also these are actually really good settings. They're, they're not maxed out by any means, but they're also not minimum either. So before I show you the settings, I want to talk to you about how the game performs for the most part in general terms. See, for a lot of people, there have been performance issues with this game. Now, I have multiple graphics cards at my disposal. I probably have, you know, off the top of my head, one, two, three, four. I've got five NVIDIA cards. Two of them are the same. They just have different amounts of VRAM. But I have five NVIDIA cards and I have three AMD cards. So I've got eight different cards to test this game on. I also have 1440p monitor and I have 1080p monitors, plural. Uh, different kinds of monitors, uh, different uh, refresh rates and so on. Different kinds of inputs too that I like to try to test the games at. And I will tell you that with seven out of eight of my graphics cards, there are definitely some performance issues. Now, <clears throat> for the most part, I would say two out of the eight graphics cards struggle with the game six out of eight do not struggle one out of eight has almost no issues at all but seven out of eight have at least some sort of issue when it comes to playing the game now why do i say that and why do i make this point and why do i put it in the video well that's what i want to talk to you about you see this game performs inconsistently even for me when i use the same graphics cards on the same computer with the same drivers I can play the game three different days and it might perform differently twice out of the three play sessions. All right. There, it may perform crappy two days in a row and great one day. It may perform great two days in a row and crappy one day, or it might be crappy, great, crappy, and so on. 
And I think the reason for that is the online DRM, if I had to guess, to be honest with you, because there's no other reason I can think of for the game to perform inconsistently. And it does. It just flat out does. Now, the reason I mention that is I have people comment in my videos that since the game plays fine for them, my computer must be broken and I don't know what I'm talking about. And that is just a laughably incorrect way to go about thinking of things and to talk about the subject. And I say that because it is definitely not just me who has had performance issues with this game. Um, as a matter of fact, I've probably had better luck than a lot of people. If you go onto the Steam discussions page for this game, Just Cause 3, you will see there's a ton of people with NVIDIA cards and with AMD cards both who have pretty much given up on the game. They get really bad frame drops, they get really bad stuttering, they get really bad lag. Um, this is a real issue with the game. So what I do is I make these videos because I've played the game enough that I've figured out that sometimes the games perform great and sometimes they perform badly. And I've started trying to piece together how to get good performance most of the time, if not all the time. And then I make videos about it. And the funny thing is, is people come onto my channel and they come onto my videos and they leave comments saying that I'm lying about the game performing badly, that I'm making the game perform badly. And that's just not the truth. Listen, my longtime viewers know, and I honestly think most attentive people, even if you haven't been a longtime viewer, I think most people would just absolutely know that's not what I'm about. The whole purpose of this channel is for me to help people. The entire purpose of this channel is for me to say, hey, I got a game to run pretty well on my graphics card. This is how I did it. And to share that with people. Now, I do other things too. Um, you know, sometimes a game performs perfectly. And I don't have to tell people how to make the game run well. But I still want to share like, okay, well, this is how perfectly the game runs for me. Or this is how badly the game runs for me. Or this is how well it sometimes runs for me. But the point being is I definitely do not make games look bad on purpose. Um, that is definitely not what I'm about. So anyway, this game 100% performs inconsistently for everybody. It, it performs inconsistently for me even. With the GTX 960 four gigabyte card, to me, that is the weakest card you can use to expect 60 frames per second at 1080p out of this game. It just is. You can get 60 frames per second 1080p with an R9 380, but it takes doing all these tricks. I have to overclock my R9 380, I have to play the game as an administrator, and I have to do the Windows key and the L key trick. I definitely have to do all three of those things with an R9 380 if I want to get 1080p 60 frames per second. Now, with the... Um, with the NVIDIA GTX 960 four gigabyte card, with that card, I don't necessarily have to do the Windows and the L key trick, um, but I still have to play the game as an administrator, right? Like I still have to jump through some hoops to get and keep 60 frames per second. This game, if you're going to use VSync or even FreeSync, and I would assume G-Sync, if you use any kind of syncing technology with this game, the game gets mad at you. Now, if you play with screen tearing, God bless you, but if you play with screen tearing, um, the game easily gets really high frame rates. Even the R9 380, if you turn VSync completely off, it gets 100 to 120 frames per second in 1080p at the lowest settings, but it's still 100 frames per second, even if it is the lowest settings. All right, so we're going to go over to here because that would affect the frame rate once I go into here and these guys start attacking me. By the way, I've been showing you the whole time I've been flying through here how to skim really close to the ground while you play. Now, I figured I would do this, especially over the water. The water seems to affect the frame rate too. So this is actually a really pretty area to be anyway. So we're going to skim over the water and we're going to get shot at. And as you can see, we are keeping 59 to 60 frames per second and we're getting a nice solid image. 
So anyway, whenever people say that I'm trying to make the game look bad, that's not true. To be honest with you, uh, Just Cause 3 is probably one of my favorite games of 2015. It might actually be my favorite game of 2015. I almost never hit things and I've wiped out like three or four times just in this video. But just so you guys know, I've actually tried to make this video quite a few times. Uh, I've got a sinus infection. So I've had to start over quite a few times making this video. I don't want to start over anymore. So even if I wipe out or even if I cough, I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to show you the settings here in a second. By the way, the video you're watching is going to be 1080p playback when you watch it. But this is 1440p performance. And if you don't believe me, first of all, I'll show you in the settings that it's 1440p. I'm using AMD's VSR. That is a technology that lets you use a 1080p screen and play at 1440p. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I am using an external capture device and a second computer. So I'm gaming on one computer. Wow, we just went into the 40s. I'm gaming in one on one computer and I'm recording with another computer so you can see the game perform at its best. If I was using Fraps or DX Tori or even Shadow Play, although this is an AMD card, so it wouldn't be Shadow Play, it would be Raptor or something like that. If I was using the same computer to game and record, it is going to affect the performance, even if it is a little bit. And I don't like doing that. I like to use a second computer. Look at that. Look how low we can skim the ground. Hey, let's get in this airplane even. Let's get in this airplane. So the thing is, and which way is the end of the runway? Okay. Wow. So actually we got to make a U-turn. So we got to go this way. Oh, shoot. Oh, you know what? I forgot. You steer the plane a different way. You got to use the buttons to steer the plane. I really wanted to fly a red plane, too. All right. We're going to try this again. Oh, I just screwed it up again, too. All right. Hold on. This is live commentary, folks. Live commentary. All right, let's try to fly. We're going to try to fly and talk about the graphics and talk about the performance. So anyway, this game absolutely performs inconsistently all over the place. And the thing is, is even with that GTX 960, sometimes it plays at a beautiful, wonderful, and perfect 60 frames per second at 1080p, but sometimes it wants to play in the 20s. Sometimes it wants to play in the 30s. It's the same graphics card, the same settings, the same drivers, the same computer. So with all that said, there are definitely inconsistencies. And just because the game is playing fine for you does not mean it's playing fine for everybody. Uh, it's not playing fine for everybody. And you can really see that in the Steam discussions. Now, why is that? I don't know. Um... Unfortunately, when I first started the game, to be honest with you, I had a 980 Ti to play it with. And when you play it with a 980 Ti in 1440p, you can max it out. And even when it's giving you crap and playing badly, it's still getting in the 50s for the frame rate. So, and, and when it's not, it's getting around 100 frames per second. So when you're playing with a 980 Ti, you can max this out in 1440p. So I did not know how badly the game plays for some people. But now that I've played it on the two GTX 960s, now that I've played it on my AMD cards, it absolutely can play badly for people. And when you act like it doesn't play badly for people, that's honestly, that's being rude. Because it definitely, definitely does play badly for some people. This is actually really fast. It may not feel fast as you fly, but that 274 number is pretty high for the kilometers per hour. Plus, we are just zipping past the scenery. All right. So let's look at the settings. I made you wait long enough. They're pretty simple. V-Sync on, full screen, anisotropic filtering times 16. Told you, 2560 by 1440. SMAA is on basically 1. SMAA 1. Gamma is right there. Texture quality, very high, which is as high as it goes. Water detail high, almost as high as it goes. Tessellation off. Uh, level of detail factor very high that's important to me that's as high as it goes shadow quality medium 
Uh, raising the shadow quality hits the frame rate, but I don't necessarily think it makes the game look better. And then all this is off, unfortunately. But 1440p, 60 frames per second for the most part, and it plays great. Now, it plays even better on my FreeSync monitor, um, but not everybody has a FreeSync monitor. If you do, though, it does play better. So check this out. Um, we are going to ditch the airplane. All right, so let's do that. Let's ditch the airplane. Ah, I wanted to get the explosion. Ooh, went into the 40s for the frame rate there. Remember, the game hates V-Sync. Now that I've shown you the settings, let me turn off V-Sync and show you how much the game hates V-Sync. Watch how high the frame rate goes now. All right, we're in the 50s. It's making me look like a big fat liar. I am big and fat, but I'm not a liar. All right, so let's reel this in. There we go. Now we're in the 70s. See, it gets in the 70s and 80s for me most of the time in 1440p with this graphics card with VSync off. This is actually the lowest it's ever gotten, but I've never been in this city before with this graphics card. So maybe, maybe that has something to do with it. I'm not 100% sure. All right. Here, let's turn VSync back on then and see where we would stay for the graphics. Because it's feeling a little laggy. All right. By the way, I am using an i7-4790 processor. Now, I don't think they have as big of cities in this game as they did in Just Cause 2. I could be wrong. This is pretty much the biggest city they have in the whole game. It's the most... Like a high rise, if you will. Here, we'll land on top of this one up here. See, with VSync on, we're keeping a fairly decent frame rate right now. There we go. See, keeping a nice, good frame rate. You can get vertigo looking down there, though. Oh, you know what looks good? coming off that mountain back here and overlooking the city. I remember I've done that before. Now, I think it was like at a church thing that I was that I was at, but where was it? I know it was over here. It was on this hill overlooking the city. It's actually a spot where you spawn at. So I didn't necessarily find the spot. Can't take credit for that. But as you can see, getting pretty good 60 frames per second. Normally the game will stay in the 70s and 80s. It might be this building over here, but I could be wrong. I don't think it is this building. No, it was more like, okay, I think that's it on that cliff up there. That stone building. All right, let's see if we can get up there. All right, whoa. See, some people wish the game had a sprint button, but as you can see, if I'd quit screwing it up, you can actually skim the road for a while. I did it earlier in the video. You have to get in a rhythm to do it. But it's absolutely pos uh, possible. Yeah, it might, it might have been up here. Might not have. I know for a fact there is a spot where you spawn that overlooks this town. And it's pretty cool looking. Oh, there there we go into the 40s for the frame rate. Now, I'm wondering if we need to do the Windows L key again or if it's just this section. See, I play the game normally with FreeSync, uh, with DisplayPort and FreeSync on a BenQ XL 2730Z. That's a 2730Z. And... Don't really have these issues, although, like I said, it only plays in the 50s to the 70s. I'm going to be honest with you. This game is pretty hard on my AMD cards, and not just on AMD cards. Even when you play in 1080p, the GTX 970 and the um, R9 390, they don't always keep 60 frames per second once you start turning settings up. All right. This is a weird game. Now, my personal conspiracy theory, if you will, is that the Denuvo, the, this game has a stuff in it called Denuvo, 
for DRM. And there's people who swear, I've seen them do it in, the, in comments on Steam, they swear that the Nuvo DRM is no more intrusive than whatever Steam uses on games. But I'm telling you, by coincidence, that all the games with the Nuvo DRM, I've had trouble with. Almost all of them, all right? Batman Arkham Knight has Denuvo DRM. This game has Denuvo DRM. Battlefield Hardline has Denuvo DRM. Now, Battlefield Hardline runs great on my AMD cards, but check this out. On my NVIDIA GTX 970, it'll get a good frame rate, but I get micro stutters, all right? Even in 1080p. You can play Ultra uh, with a GTX 970 and 1080p Battlefield Hardline. And on my card, it gets micro stutters. And then even when you don't play Ultra with my 960, it gets micro stutters. And I think it's only with my 980 Ti that that game becomes playable. However, it does just so happen to help to use my 390X to play Battlefield Hardline using FreeSync on my BenQ monitor. All right. Um, this game plays a little bit better with FreeSync. Arkham Knight, the crap fest that it is, plays a little bit better with FreeSync. I think there is an issue with the Nuvo DRM. I really do. And at the very least, the Nuvo DRM and VSync. I do think there is some sort of issue at hand. So I could be wrong, but that is the suspicion that I have had. And I only say that because I've had so many games have trouble with it. There's other Denuvo games I've had trouble with, but not as much. Battlefield Hardline plays like crap um, on a lot of my cards. This game plays like crap on everything but a 980 Ti. And then um, Arkham Knight plays like crap no matter what, which is why everyone got refunds for it. You know, that's the thing, like... There's even people who say that Arkham Knight plays fine for them, and I, I believe it. Okay, fine, Arkham Knight plays fine for you, and that's great. But that doesn't mean it plays it doesn't play badly for other people, and it doesn't mean this game doesn't play badly for other people. What's crazy is I have videos showing how to get 60 frames per second in Just Cause 3, and it gets down, and those videos get down votes, and those videos get... Um, negative comments and it blows my mind that those games would get that those videos would get down votes and negative comments not because they're the world's greatest videos but it's because people are disagreeing they're saying no the game plays fine for me so here is a down vote on your video for telling other people how to get the game to play fine for them you know what i mean that's ridiculous it's it's like mcdonald's you know like there's lots of McDonald's restaurants in the country, in the world even. And most of the McDonald's restaurants probably do an okay job making food. But there's probably a couple of bad ones out there that legitimately have issues, right? And it'd be like if every time you had McDonald's, it was good. And then someone said that their local McDonald's is bad. So you want to trash talk them because you think they're making it up. Well they're, well, they're probably not making... I mean, they could be, but they're probably not. You know, it's possible that their particular McDonald's is not giving good service. I mean, it can happen. I've got a Burger King near me where the food's always cold. Always at this one particular Burger King. You know, like, it, why is it always at that Burger King? I don't know. I've got a Jack in the Box by me where the food is always almost perfect. Oh, and I've gone to all kinds of jack-in-the-boxes. You know, sometimes your fast food's perfect, sometimes it's not. But there's a jack-in-the-box that I've gone to where the food is almost always piping hot, fresh, and perfect to the point where it tastes better than fast food. Like, the fries aren't even burnt. They're cooked to the perfect texture. So, if I, I could go around telling everybody that, hey, jack-in-the-box makes perfect fast food... But I know for a fact I've eaten at Jack in the Boxes that don't. Oh, that's a purple car. You see that? Let's go check out the purple car. Look at me. I'm on a purple car. All right. So anyway, point being with this long rambling lecture that I'm giving, 
is just because the game runs fine for you, it doesn't run fine for everybody else. And you know what? I could play it on my 980 Ti, and I could tell everybody that they're crybabies and they're making it up. But I don't. I try to be more helpful than that. So there you go. I didn't mean for this to be such a long and rambling video, and I'm surprised I didn't go into a coughing fit yet because I went into a coughing fit and, I don't know, at least six other attempts at making this thing. So let me show you the settings one more time. There are the settings right there. Check them out. Pause it if you have to. And uh, we're playing 1440p. Again, remember we are using AMD's VSR technology. Uh, that's why the video is playing back in 1080p for you because I'm using a 1080p 60 frames per second capture device. But this is how the game looks in 1440p. And if you want to know a hack, if you want to know how you can just look at my videos and know if I'm playing in 1080p, 1440p, or 4K, look in that upper right hand corner and look at that, look at those yellow numbers, all right? Those yellow numbers are very obviously large looking when I play 1080p. When I'm playing 1440p, they look like this, where they, they're big enough that you can see them without a problem, but they're small enough they don't take up a lot of space on the screen. And then when I play in 4K, they're like microscopic. They're not microscopic, but they're pretty small. They're like they're pretty difficult for me to see even when I look at them in real life. So, oh, as you can see, even with all those settings turned down and turned off, the skybox still looks really, really good. Really, really nice and fluffy. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. Those are the settings to make this game look and play well in 1440p with an R9 390X. You saw that in that city area, we actually did go into the 40s for the frame rate, and I apologize for that. And right now we're kind of going into the 50s a little bit. Um, it's The 390X, I guess, unfortunately, is not, at least not with these settings, going to keep... 60 frames per second rock solid, and I apologize for that. Now we're in the 40s. Let me go over the rationale of my settings very quickly for you. V-Sync is on, so there's no screen tearing. Anisotropic filtering is, is at times 16, so it's pretty. SMAA is on because FXAA doesn't quite do the job, and off doesn't quite look good. You can use those if you want to to get better frame rate. Texture quality is at very high because I think the game looks better with it at very high. Water detail is at high because if it was any lower, the water just looks like a big piece of blue plastic or something. It's not very appealing to look at. Water on very high is what I would prefer. Now, let me see if I'm near any water so I can shoot. Yes, I am. Let's go over to the water. Look how just great this game is at transitioning to the wingsuit. Better than any other game I've ever played, probably. All right, so here's the deal with the water. With high, water that's close to you has choppiness to it, and, and the light shines through it, and it looks pretty. But the water that's far away from you looks more generic, all right? With very high, if I remember correctly, um, whenever I do these live demonstrations, sometimes I am proven wrong or, you know, due to circumstances. There we go. See, uh, further out further out the water looks more sophisticated. Oh, give me a jet ski, give me a jet ski. Give me a jet ski. That's mine. All right. So, when you turn the water to very high, you see the intricacies in the water further out. When you turn the water to high, you see the intricacies in it closer to you, which is better than nothing. Um I prefer it at very high. So I'm going to be honest, that's an area where the 980 Ti like really, really has a big piece of my heart. Because when you are over the water, it is very nice to see those water details uh, extend out into the distance. Now, they kind of extend into the distance right now. You could say to yourself, well, AI doesn't look like a flat plastic expanse. You're stupid. Well, if I was flying over the water right now, it would look more flat. But even with us here in the water on the jet ski, I feel like the whole water shining through the light and stuff like that, you get to see that further away from you. 
it seems like that effect see how the sparkle on the water is almost as far as the eye can see in front of me so see how the water sparkles let's see if it still does the sparkling when we turn it back to high as far as the eye can see oh i saw it i saw it just change a little bit so i feel like the water is sparkling less although i do see sparkle going out a pretty good distance it's one of those things where like most people are not going to notice it and it's super anal retentive but it's one of those things that matters to me now some of you are going to listen to this and you're going to absolutely get what i'm saying and i think a lot of you are going to listen to it and think i'm a wanker you're going to think i'm one of these entitled overprivileged wankers crying about how his water doesn't sparkle enough and his water doesn't look sophisticated enough at a great enough distance and I get that. Um, if you look at statistics, the vast majority of people game at 1080p or lower. They don't even game at 1440p. And the vast majority of people game on pretty weak hardware. And the vast majority of people, I mean, when I say vast majority, I mean like a, a scary high percentage of people do not play games maxed out. Okay? Okay. They do not play games at the highest settings. So that automatically puts me in a minority, and I get that. By the way, I apologize if I'm making you guys seasick. Uh, I'll try to get back to the to land. This is, oh, wait a minute. Maybe I could, I don't, oh, shoot. I don't know if I can fast travel or not, to be honest with you. Because I think fast traveling in this game involves beacons, and I'm in the water, and I don't know if I can use a beacon in the water. I do wish fast travel worked a little better. So anyway, the rationale of the settings that I'm choosing, you can get a higher frame rate if you turn some of this stuff down. But as you can see, I already have all of these off, 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 off. That's off. That's medium. And then this thing's on high. There's only two things on very high. So I've already given quite a few concessions in the settings to me. This is what you need, especially with level of detail. Um, level of detail makes it so that while you're uh, in your wingsuit and you're gliding over a town, you can see like more windows on the buildings and more roof tiles and more little things like that. But to me, it's something that greatly improves the experience. Now, again, to a lot of people, it might not, but... Uh, I assume people watching this video might care, right? I mean, the whole purpose of this video is talking about how to get better performance out of the game. So, yeah, it just went into the 40s there. Let me try the Windows key thing again. I've never had to do it more than once. I've never had to do it more than once in a single play session. But just in case. Just in case. Wait about 10 seconds. Go back into the game. All right, so we're in the 50s, but I feel it chugging a little bit. The question is, will it go back into the 40s? And if so, what is the issue? I just think the game hates V-Sync. That's what I really think. Although earlier when I turned V-Sync off, the game started playing in the 40s. Again, making me look like a big fat liar. When normally you can definitely play the game much better than the 40s. Um... Yeah, it just went into the 40s. It's better than 30, though. I mean, if we want to just be a million percent optimistic, 45 is still better than 30, objectively speaking. Let's go over to um, this area over here. Remember, even with my 980 Ti, it goes into the 50s, although that's what the game maxed out. That's what... Um, I think I only have shadows on high, even with the 980 Ti, because when I put the shadows on ultra... I don't really feel like they're worth the frame rate hit. And even with something as strong as a 980 Ti, once you've turned on V-Sync, man, you are going to start affecting your frame rate. So, tell tell that no to the V-Sync. All right, 68 frames per second. Set. Ooh, that was a really big slow motion chug. Let's start over. I'm feeling chugginess. So, we're in the, uh, we're in the 60s. 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the card is thermal throttling because we've been playing a while. That's an interesting question. You know, we're about to we're about to stop the game, and I've actually got some software running because that is some really crappy chuggy performance there. I've actually tried this out for several hours before I went to make a video, and it was always, always in the 50s to 80 frames per second. It was for the most part 70s and 80s, and it would dip into the 60s, and it would sometimes touch the 50s. But um, I did hours of testing, and it played much better than this. Now, supposedly the game does have a memory leak, is what is what has been reported in the Steam forums. So it might be an issue that I need to stop the game and start it over again. But still, I mean, I've played it for pretty lengthy sessions and not had these slowdowns. So as you can see, there are definitely performance issues for some people. And even though I ran the game as an administrator, and even though I did the home key... Uh, the Windows key and the L key, even though I did that and locked the computer and went back in, we're by and large getting 60 frames per second. But um, it does go down from time to time. Let's see if we can yank this sucker down. See, sometimes you just rip the door off on your first try. And then you got to try it again. There you go. So, looks like there's four of those around here. All right, so let's quit the game, all right? Main menu, exit to Windows, tell it yes. All right, close this. All right, wow, look at all this uh, spiking. That's That was probably affecting our performance right there. So the max temperature got up to 82. This is the Asus Strix version of the 390X. Max VRAM went up to 3.5, and we were around 3.4. Yeah, around 3.4 there towards the end. GPU usage. See all those dips? What I've noticed, for whatever reason, whenever a game is um, playing like crap, when I exit out and I check my GPU usage, it's it's normally been tanking. Now, why is that? I don't know. Uh, one of you people that's smarter than me might know. All right, so the fan got up to 1736 RPM, 41%, and then the memory clock was 6,000, it says. So those are the stats that I had being monitored while I played the game. So anyway, there you go. Mostly 60 frames per second performance. If you even found this video in the first place, if you were looking for it, chances are that you might have been getting 30 frames per second or less. So hopefully this video helped you out, even though it wasn't a rock solid, constant, non-stop 60 frames per second. Hopefully this was still helpful for you. All right, so this has been AI Gaming 1776. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Please check out my other videos. I've got more R9 390X videos. I've got R9 390 videos, R9 380 videos. I've got NVIDIA videos. I've got... 1080p performance videos, 1440p performance videos. In some cases, I have 900 and 720p performance videos. I try to cover a lot of the issues that people look into. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been AI Gaming 1776, and uh, y'all have yourselves an excellent night.